What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is Michael B. He lives in the tree. Soon you'll all see. Say it can and, be. Uh, now we're going to draft. He's drafting with me. Kurt suggested we draft all the trap cards, which I think there might be actual zero in this cube. What? There's always trap cards, Michael. Why do you talk like this? Yeah, it's a land spell. Both of these are good. But you don't like the land spell? I mean, I've been impressed with Skydiver. I've been doing it. You can also just take Signet. I would never take Signet over this Thieving Skydiver. This also is a Signet, Michael. Sometimes. You're right. Sometimes it's a Mox. Sometimes it's a Sol Ring. Sometimes it's a Sword that gets automatically equipped. I'm just taking it. What if we drafted a deck of cards that go in any deck? <laughs> well, they would technically go in that deck, yeah. Michael B looking super fresh. Oh, stop. You super fresh. May I have to sneeze? Always happens. Oh, is this... Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> I know what I'd take, but I know what you can't pass, so. <laughs> what are you, what would you take? Signet. you take Signet over Coalition Relic? You sound like an idiot. I would, yeah. Wow, that's insane. Two versus three is very different. Uh, two mana versus one mana is also very different. That's true. It's only two mana half the time, though. Uh huh. It's also any color versus two very specific colors. No, those are the best colors anyway, so. <sighs> I really didn't like doing that. Look, we got a Leo and take Creeping Tar Pit. You can still take Creeping Tar Pit. I know, but it's better when you have a Leovold. Life's better with a Leovold, Michael. <laughs> I also kind of want to try Maniv Mizzet Reborn here. I don't think it's good enough. I don't feel like there's enough support for it. I think they stuck in there because, like, look at this cool How's it not going to be? How do you even know that? You did one vintage cube draft. Thank you. Alright, we'll count the number of multicolored cards. Or two colored okay, cards. Okay, there's literally two in this pack. Okay. What up, Unforgiven? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. I'm trying, unforgiven. Every day is a struggle. <laughs> you just have to starve yourself for literally, you know, 80% of the day or whatever. Yeah, and Michael's got to be like, I can only eat three donuts tonight, not four. I only had two. Oh, okay. I thought about buying three, but I was like, you know what? We'll get two. You're so my brave. My dinner was pretty healthy overall, though. So brave. <laughs> I eat you. So brave. I kind of just like pester my Mike hair. B is the only man allowed to have a meat cooking show on a Muslim network. I didn't even know I had one. That's real specific. That's I don't even know what that means. Neither do I. Signet, but it's kind of in the... Not really the colors you necessarily want. Oh, just, we're just going in? I mean, it's, fourth, it's third pick. There's nothing... Fourth pick, it doesn't grade in that pack, so. <sighs> Global warming has meetings about Mike B. Wow. Ooh, I like a misty, and I like a watery, and I like a rift wing. Again, two more gold cards. Both of which are immensely playable. Fetch of the duel, though, that's, that's a tough one. Not black yet, though. But we're definitely just blue. Take a misty. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried to lose weight a bunch of times, but I always give up. This is the first time I've been fairly consistent about it. There's a small part of me likes this diet because I don't have to buy lunch. <laughs> wow. We had burgers the other day. 
I'm probably gonna make burgers again in a couple days. I made some pork chops tonight. With some stuffing. I made some, some pork chops tomatoes. tonight. I'm a pork chop boy. Inferno Titan is just kind of a banger. And Golos is also a banger. Yeah, but like Inferno Titan literally just like he pretty much wins. Golos is good, but he doesn't actually win. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I. <laughs> I'd rather commit to an artifact that searches up any color land than a double red card. So, well, you and me play differently. I guess so. I I, I tend to win my matches. How about you? Yeah, so I thought you. I don't bitch. play a lot of matches. Oh wow, that's weird. So you're just admitting I have more experience than you? Did I ever claim I had more experience? Well, it kind of seems like you're acting like it. I'm just saying Inferno Sighton slaps. Inferno Sighton? I'm not saying Golos doesn't slap. In fact, I plan on making a commander deck out of him, but. Oh, why don't you make a commander deck around in front of Titan? He's not legendary. Yes. Also, you can't just play red because that's just that's not good. Yet. Unless you're playing Goto. Yet. I'm just going to take Factor Fiction. Yeah, not with that attitude is right. I can't have Inferno sighted as my commander. <laughs> my name is my You group. can't. I mean, technically you can if you... Ask your playgroup about it. What if you have that card that makes all your permanents legendary? Why would that be good? Because only play one of. Because then in front of Titan's legendary and it can be your commander. <laughs> Dummy. But that doesn't. You know, never mind. I'm not gonna. Hmm. That's what Bobby likes. See now we're red. You know what? Maybe. What's the review on the new commander decks? I haven't seen the new commander decks. Do you mean the new commander set? If you're talking about the set, I think it's very good. I think oppres uh, opposite, opposite, Oppression Agent? What's his name? The one that lets you tutor for their tutor? Or no, lets you tutor their tutor. I have tutor. no fucking idea what he's talking about. Opposition Agent? What is it? What Oppression is agent? it? What the is it? black three drop of flash that lets you... Control their tutor and cast it. That card's probably too good. Also, the Lotus is a little pushed. But I don't think it's... I don't know. We'll see. That'd be wild if they're coming out with a commander set and commander decks at the same time. But I wouldn't doubt it because Blizzard just like releases all the things all the time at this point. All the things at all the time at this point. People like to make up these commands. Oh, Braid. I like it. Oh, well, one of my favorite color combos. Did you start out playing red? But then I became blue because you know, everyone does because it's the best color. Why would so. you start out playing red? That's weird. Ball lightning is cool. <laughs> Robots are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Fire Blast? They're just giving me these red cards. They always do. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, we could play a Siege Gang. We could play a Siege Gang. I don't like you. I feel like a sneak attack and something else. Mike's middle name is Melvin. Michael Melvin. My middle name is Charles, thank you. Charles Melvin Bartholomew. Ooh, I like a Mox Jet. Not bad. You can get back, like... Nothing. Mm, nothing, probably. Nothing, buddy. Oh man, Michael Michael B's little middle name is still your grandma. <laughs> wow. Oh shit. Do you guys want to see Kerwood's picture that he sent me? Okay, well. That's certainly something. <laughs> and he said, not looking so fresh. <laughs> that beard is getting real out of control. They're just taking Badlands. Uh yeah. Hmm. 
Benser. Benser seems good. Tinker seems decent. We don't have a ton of things for it. Yet. Yet. There was an inkle in the first pack. Oh, wow, Michael. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to take Tinker. I think it's. I think the upside's way high. On Saturday, most of the news networks announced that Biden is the new president-elect. I was sitting with my parents who are first-gen immigrants. They were so happy, had tears of joy. I felt so much happiness that day, not because I'm a Biden fan, but because they're finally taking... Dude. Love it. That's amazing. It's not really a wheel Love deck. What did you say? It's not really a wheel deck. Wheel deck. Not really a wheel deck. Could make... Could take Trinket Mage and hope to open up power? You mean oh, like a mox jet? You should probably change your mage then. Tank, 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 tank. Because it gives us a good land. Because it gives us a good land. <laughs> hey, there you go. Did you just say a sentence? Say a sentence like a normal person, Michael. I can't. Really? Yeah. Like maybe you're just not trying hard enough. Do you ever think about that? Maybe I don't want to try hard enough. Well, then you're going to get made fun of. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, my friend, you can stop. Is that what you think friendship is, Michael? Not making fun of each other? Oh god, yeah, Standard Beat, we saw that. It's pretty cringe. I, thought, I was really hoping this guy was uh, an Did artifact. target? He ain't. Threat Dynamo is probably fine. What's our deck doing right now? Literally nothing. <laughs> You're being a little bitch right now. Well, I'm just amend the truth. Amend the truth? I'm amending the truth. Uh, you're a mitten truth? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Did you get your cookies the other night? No. No, they took they took our address off of the uh the delivery location. Too far. Rip. I agree, they went too far. Hmm. The T Rex arc. I mean, Zealous Conscripts, Peak Pestermite, and Zealous Conscripts means they probably don't have other... We're just hoping. No one else has the pieces. Oh, you like a Blood Crypt. Mm, I kind of like Kavu. Really? You like Kavu? Mm, we're not black yet. Yes, but... I guess it helps... Our Dolos plans. We just take Koth and try to get there with that. Yikes. That guy beats face. I like rather take Tefri and try to get there with that. You ever, you ever cast it? Oh, the Inkwell came back. The Inkwell came back. Would you ever consider lifting weights on stream? No, probably not, because that's fucking weird. Some people do it. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Kibler does. Okay, but those are like specific weightlifting streams. Like, that's not like a... thing i don't understand about like trump is that like if he was like mads mickelson right i would be like okay i kind of get it like he's he would be charming and attractive and funny right and you like have all these endearing qualities that that allow people to like that allow people to attract themselves to you right mm -hmm. but he's like a fat old unattractive oafish man right and i'm not trying to like like look shame him or something but like you just don't get it he's just kind of like i certainly don't fucking get it he's just kind of like a miserable man and i don't understand he's not charming he's not funny he has no empathy like he's not endearing he's not compassionate like there's no redeemable qualities so i don't get it like it's not like no, it's i'll this, never understand it's not like there's this situation where it's like well, you know, dude, I can see, like... Again, I'm going to use Mads Mikkelsen, right? Because he's just a cool dude. I oh, can I see, like, how Mads Mikkelsen's, like, doing shitty things. But, like... God, when he comes out and talks to us, like, it really makes sense. And it resonates. And he's, he's saying these articulate things. And I just connect with it, he's right? He's like a con man, but only for the weak-minded. I don't understand people fall for his cons. It just doesn't... I don't get it. 
But it's not. He's not a guy. I guess my point more 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 accurately is like if you look at Mads Mikkelsen, you're like, man, that guy's got it. That guy's, you know, when the, there's there's a it factor, and you're like, that guy's got it. Right. I never look at Trump and say, man, I wish I was that guy. It's just not a, a thing that I've ever thought in my life. Right. I'm always like, oh god, this guy is really like someone make, just like, falling again, apart. Use Mads Mikkelsen, like you could see how someone would be envious of him. Right. But Trump, I'm just like. I guess he's got money. You could be envious of that, but besides that, and even that's that's literally uh, shaky, as far as we know. So <laughs> has money in quotes. <laughs> yes, Kuro. Yes, we can. Soon. Unforgiven, dude. Don't worry about it at all. No, no apology needed. I'm very glad the election had a positive effect on you and the fam. Wow, that's a late lightning bolt. No respect. I came back. <laughs> that's pretty sweet, actually. All right, so we have Deceiver, Pester, and Zealous Conscripts. We have two targets for Tinker now. I don't know. Deck seems okay. all right so far. A couple more fast rocks. We got a Mox Jet and some easy ways to splash black. Four ways to splash black so far. Y'all got any more than fast rocks I could get? No one has that. Dang. Hey, man, watch out. You might lose some fans. I, I See, that's funny because, like, if that's the case, then like they aren't really fans. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, if you're if you're a fan, we can have to wear. If someone disagrees with you politically, that you just stop enjoying their content. Then like, uh, I don't know. That's pretty weird. Like in the past month or so, since I've been retweeting and tweeting about uh, more political things, like yeah, I, I said, you noticed. A, I've definitely off lost. Your, um... You want to finish my sentence for me? No, go on. Okay. Uh, I've definitely I've I've gone under like eight thousand followers for the first time ever. And uh, you could definitely tell there's a correlation between, like, me posting political things and, like, people just not being there for that. And that's fine. Like, I get that. Like, but I'm not going to, like, censor myself and not talk about what I want to talk about on these, on the, on the content that, like, I'm creating and making. And so. Look, now we get to take Demonic Tutor. We do have Blood Crypt and a Badlands. And a Creeping Tarpet and a Mox Jet. Okay, you sold me. And there's Fiery Confluence, which is also very good. Mike, would you ever set up an OnlyFans? Mm, I don't think so. Would you ever set up an OnlyFans lift up with your weightlifting? Hmm. I don't lift weights currently. Well, that's why you're not making the big bucks, Michael. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with having an OnlyFans. I think you do whatever you want that makes you money. Get that paper, son. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Maybe this is just my insecurity talking. I don't think I really have the sex appeal for an OnlyFans to really go long term. Yeah, but at the end of your of your weightlifting journey, you will. Oh, sh the it's like a progression. Is you getting it, yeah. You're not. Oh, interesting. So you get you get the you get the fan base, the loyal base first, and then you build up to get those new followers. Yeah, first you get the OnlyFans, oh. then you get the muscles, then you get the money, <laughs> then you get the women, Michael. That's how it goes. So where's the question marks in that? You gotta have question marks somewhere and then profit. Where's that falling? You didn't mention money. You just—I think you did the wrong. Don't order. you're thinking? You don't worry about it. You're thinking oh, about sneak it. attack. We I mean, don't have anything good to sneak yet. Attack. There's a new log in this pack that could come back. <sighs> I'd rather just take force of negation because we fine. Have a take a responsible card like an adult. See if I care. Do you not care? I uh, don't care. Um, Unforgiven. I appreciate the bits, buddy. You could call your OnlyFans Mike B's Smokes Pork. Smokes Pork? Yeah. I think I, I think he might have meant smoked pork. Probably. That would make more sense. Uh, let's not... Let's actually not spread rumors about Johnny Depp having done a bunch of bad stuff IRL. Most of the Amber Heard rumors are pretty... Not true. Uh, yeah, I've, I've I've never heard one compelling argument that Amber Heard's honest, and uh, that Johnny Depp actually did the bad stuff IRL. So let's not. Oh wow, good gravy. I mean, signet would be nice, but that takes signet. So also, there's two signets here. It's so like you know, you could take the, the removal spell or the creature. You know, take the removal spell because it kill a creature. Dak fate and kill a signet. But even better, he give you signet. He give you life. I don't know what you're saying right now. I was just waiting for that part. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I 
Uh, poker group's kind of dead. We can barely get five people together. Barely there was some drama involving a, a money people. situation where someone stole a bunch of money from the group, basically. Um, it wasn't. It didn't affect me, but I actually like Doretti here because he makes tokens. I like Fire Ice. I like Jitter. Oh, yeah, he's good with good with Jinker. This guy makes a bunch of one ones that we can tinker into, which is pretty sweet. I'm still up, but if I want to really play poker now, I have to play on like a real site, which is not as soft. Still pretty soft. Mike though. doesn't like the challenge. He's like, whoa, you guys are pretty decent here, partners. Well, it's just like I can't really commit commit to a decent sit down. Did they steal the gobble ghoul, Mike? <laughs> yeah, someone did actually. So basically someone uh, went to PayPal and accused uh, all the transactions of being fraud. So it was big drama over that. Oh yeah, big drama. Oh yeah, big drama. Oh yeah, big gabagool. Hmm. I think it's Wandering Fumeral here. Uh, I play on Ignition when I'm feeling pokery. Michael B. plays on Ignition when he's feeling pokery. I'm going to take Wandering Fumeral. We don't have any blue-red lands yet. so. Got to do Bitcoin transactions, but that's really... Bitcoin. Not, not too bad. Also, I think I got a little poker out, so I'm kind of taking a break. You got pokered out. Ooh, Brazen Borrower is nice. Charter Course is nice. So if you want to make decent money on the 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 real sites, you probably you got to do like the tournament grind. I'm not, not really down to play like an eight-hour tournament too often. He ain't, he ain't down for that. Yeah, we have Factor Fiction. I'm going to take Brazen Borrower. Bovada is okay. I prefer ignition. Bovat? Bovada. Bovada? Yeah. It's another poker site. Like Movado? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah! We fucking did it! Oh, yeah! I was now wondering we where these combos. were, man. I don't know if Tinker's really a combo. That's just a card. Are there wholesome OnlyFans? Oh, they're definitely... I'm pretty sure there are people who do OnlyFans that are like non-nude, if that's what you mean. Yeah, like oh, Michael. That, that cover looks sick. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to pick it up. It's not released yet. It's new. It's not gonna be hard. But what a uh, what comic? I think Serval Surf or something. Or as the page indicates. Oh, I could look to the right, I guess. Or here. Is this like? Or here. Or up here, I bet. Shut up. And it literally anywhere. What a uh, is this like the rerun of Thor's or the rerun? Yeah. What is that? I don't know what that means. Well, because it's Thor number nine, and obviously there's been many more Thor comics than nine. Well, doesn't a rerun imply, like, the same thing over? Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Re-release? They reboot it? They always do that every couple of years? Kind of? So, basically, the way comics are done is mm -hmm. that there's, like, around 12 to 24 issues for a single volume. Okay. And then the next year, it's the same continuation of the story same characters but usually they'll have a new author and a new a new writer and a new artist and they'll start over at number one because it makes easier jumping on wow fiery confluence came back it makes easier jumping on points for like new readers but don't talk about your butt michael <laughs> how does someone who's like maybe trying to catch up know where to start reading you just have like google it basically i mean it's the same thing with like magic it's literally any large and franchised hobby that you want to get into it's it you have to put in your research you know what i mean well, I just mean like sometimes there'd be like like it'll have a subtitle or something to like indicate okay this is a new thing. Uh no, it's just issue number. So like you would just go by like one, you know. Okay. Like you know if you're starting at number one, it's an, it's gonna be a new storyline. You should go like the year number. I don't basically. understand these sneak attacks coming back. Like, yeah, I don't think we need. I don't think we want it now. But no, you don't think you don't want a sneak attack Golos. I'm gonna take Celestial Colonnade because we have Golos and Teferi. Rakdos Signet. That's definitely a player. I was just kidding about that coming back. Jeez. Ugh. You're disgusting. Never nudes. Wow. Callback. 
pretty funny show. <laughs> That's a pretty funny show. Wow, this is this was a wild draft. Mike B will do anything if the price is right. His only fans isn't for the faint. Wow. Wait, we have more trophies than J Bro? What did he like stop playing? I don't get it. He must be busy. I didn't even know we had a young peasy. He'd be decent. It was the last pick. Oh, okay. Maybe you should, missed it. Maybe you should try to keep up. I'm going to take Trigger Mage out. This guy sucks. Buttholes. Yeah, we only have one target. Although it does help you with Tinker. I, I do kind of like Bulls of Citadel. Greedy, but I do like it. Is it greedy? Triple black is a little rough. You're not casting, you're tinkering into it. Yeah, but we're not really a storm deck, so I don't know if that really gets us anywhere. Are you it serious? should be like a value, but then we're paying a lot of life and sacrificing stuff. I don't know. What are you sacrificing? Life and an artifact. One whole artifact to get like seven cards worth of advantage? Oh man, that sounds. Yeah, but we don't have terrible. that many threats, so like I feel like the density of spells are going to be like stuff that doesn't do much. I don't know, we could try it out. We have a lot of threats? Are you being serious right now? Right, but Inkwell costs nine to cast. Like uh -huh. nine life. That's I a lot. I got Thran Dynamo and Coalition Rel. No, I mean, I mean, if you're paying him off Citadel. Paying him off. <laughs> if you're paying him off, yeah, you pay him off. That's how you get him into play. You have to pay nine life, which is a lot. Yeah, but then they die. So the problem is. Do they die right away, though? They die, like, the next day. How right, were we cutting for it? Your dad. My dad? You'd probably cut, like... Good one. I'm not cutting any of it. Fucking nerd. <laughs> I actually really like all the cards. Yeah, so do I. I think the deck is good. Yeah, I don't think we need to though. I would love Teferi, though. <sighs> you have a Colonnade, but that's it. I don't even know if Rainforest is good here, unfortunately. Yeah, because it only gets islands, so it's basically just an island. Could get a forest if we want to get cute with goals, but I don't know I if it's really worth it. And Colin Rush, no, he's not going to give you enough Nothing colors. you said is English. <laughs> Colin Rush only gets you two colors. Still not. I don't know what you're saying right now. Coalition only gets you two colors. Right. And we have Celestial Colonnade, Creeping Tar Pit, and Wandering Fumo. We have three colors. We have literally four colors in our deck. Why, why do we mean only gets you two colors? Like, how many do you think we need? Well, I'm saying like that's the argument for playing Misty, so it gets you an extra one. I don't want to have a forest in my deck, though. That's for true. Okay. Arctic Avenger, what up? Welcome back, my dude. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna play. Also, these. in desperation, it can help you cast uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. With what for the white? I mean, we also have Colonnade. That's what I meant. Oh. What did you mean? Colonnade. Incinerate's just better than Lightning Strike. Yes, because it exiles their deuter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nah, it's not enough for Pyromancer, I don't think. I play Shilberg where we have like a Braid, Dak Faden, Thieving Skydiver, Fiery Confluence. We actually have a ton of artifact destruction in the deck so far. Sort by converted mana costs. costs. I do kind of like Doretti. Does it like it better? Yeah, yeah I cut Thrain Dynamo for Doretti. One, two, three. That's awkward though. Why? Because you're cutting a thing you synergize with. I mean, not really. Like it lets us discard. It lets us discard both of these if we draw them. It lets us sacrifice a token to like get one of them back. Yeah, okay. I think that's better. And I guess Dynamo's really only good with Inkwell, Hardcast. Yeah, or Sphinx, but like, it's just not impressive. Like, if we have four mana, the next time we're gonna have five anyway. So, okay, very heavy red, very heavy. Wow. He said blue. Two, three, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then four, five, six, seven. Five, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. 
10. Oh, we get one more. Oh, we got a white now. Get that out of here. Done. I like it. This stick looks sweet. It's got a lot of things going on. It's got a combo or two. And buddy, what more can you ask for? What's the second combo you're referring to? Well, Tinker. That's not a combo, that's just a card. It's kind of a combo, though. It's no combo, though. It's just one piece. It's just one card that does a thing. It's just literally the card doing what it does. Right, but if you do it fast enough, Inkwell's just going to murder them. So but that doesn't make it a combo. <laughs> the faster you do it, the more of a combo it is. So if I like play Primeval Titan, I don't know, maybe that actually does make sense for that situation. Anyway. Well, it's a combo because without an artifact, it doesn't do anything, so there you go. I guess it combos it's with any combo. artifact. I guess you... Uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to give it to you, like X, you know? What are you doing, man? Scratching my ankle. I feel like you're probably scratching the skin off yourself. I do scratch pretty hard. Yikes. Really? Is this how you're going to be? Okay. Mm, it takes a bolt. Me. Still rather have it in my hand. Look, we got old cheese pizza here. <laughs> Was that really his name? Wow. I'm a fan of their work. Sick. If we lose, at least we lost cheese pizza. I guess there's always that. Cheese pizza. I'm just going to play that, even though they didn't know about it. Why did you say it like that? Cheese pizza. I'd explain it, but you wouldn't get it. I wouldn't? No. Huh. Well, that's too bad. Oh, man, tell him you're a big fan. <laughs> I love your I love your work. Bayou Taiga. Interesting. Four colors, huh? It's Leovold? Yeah. Oh, Thief of Sanity. What? You know I have Flame Tongue Cavo in hand. That's fascinating. Maybe you forgot. Do you think he played it so quickly that he just forgot? Now, does he want you to kill this? I don't know, but it's a very Seems good card, so I don't feel bad pretty about good. it. Yeah, right? Like, I'm like, all right, if that's the one you want me to kill, then that's, that's fascinating. Oh, they just get it back. Wow, look at them go. Look at them go. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. The Rudy Maduti. We discard up to two cards. Okay. For a small fee, Michael B will read Hindi folk tales on his OnlyFans. Well, if you're a subscriber to his OnlyFans, like that's the fee you're paying, right? You don't have to pay also for that. That'd be that'd be well. That's for the the primos here. Oh wow! Is it Leovold? No, it's just the same old. They have two cards in hand. Fascinating. Discard up to two cards. I don't think I really want to discard any of them. They're all very good. Yeah, not really. Michael, how are you dealing with closer of Chuck E. Cheese? Only time will tell. Uh, that's unfortunate. Hit me with your best shot. That's Michael B. <laughs> oh, I forgot that they could also hit this. I thought it was Instant Sorcerer for some reason, so that was pretty silly on my part, but... You know, they're probably going to take that regardless. Although I guess you kind of wasted a braid. Right, but then I get to keep Splinter Twin, so... You know, that seems better. No, they probably would take Twin. That's my point. Thank you. That's the ticket. Hmm. Wait, 
Okie dokie. Factor fiction seems good. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub. I appreciate you, buddy. The looters are not good in Paris. Agreed. Oh. Wow. So I can discard these with the DAC and then... Oh, let's draw an artifact. Well, to see Rex Arc is sad now that we have a broad A in the graveyard. I thought it was because it's winter time, but what do I know? That is what I meant. Oh man, Pestermite 2? Dang. Made you Pestermite 2? It's even better than Pestermite 1. <laughs> the sequel! So I kind of want to take this. Oh, we take this? Oh, dang it. There's too much. There's We have to... There's too much! Hey, you still do it. Discard up to two cards. And draw that many cards. Oh, a demo. Michael, what do you think about demo? It's pretty good. Let's see what we got. I like I kinda like force of negation here actually. For protect? Yeah. Because we have no idea what they have. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pestermite too. Pestermiter. Pestermite too. Pestermiter. <laughs> Jesus. Sure, you got it. Golgari Stinknet. Stinknet? Mm hmm. That's right. Was that where you were born? I'm sorry, what? Was that where you were born? I'm sorry, what? Was that where you were born? I'm sorry, what? Stinknet says what? <sighs> nice try, buddy. Nice try says what? Okay. okay. It doesn't work in, if I've already said it. Already said what? You can't just keep doing it. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Stinkwell Leviathan? Hmm. Huh. Better get back now. Or it ain't gonna be yours no more. I don't know what that means. He'll steal it. What? He'll steal it. Oh. Because <laughs> so we don't deal with seven, put them to eleven. Duretti's got to be ultimate by now, right? Who? Duretti. No, he ultimate's at 10. His ultimate's shit, so... God damn. To cluster, Michael B? Fluster. <laughs> he meant fluster. One, two, three, four, five. Did he? No, it was a deck first. Well, I got eight cards. I got ten cards in my library, so... Don't be a little baby. Hmm. You know, I see your point. Also, that Scarab God is going to kill us faster than we mill, so. I disagree. Oh, man. That shit add up. That shit add up. Uh, I think it's. That shit going to have Island Walk, yo. I don't know what you're saying right now. This guy has Island Walk. What are you talking about? He gonna when he reanimated it. I'm getting it back this turn with Doretti. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a thing. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I just want to take this. Didn't do it. You don't need another looter. I think that's true. So this is nine. 
and this is six. So as long as these resolve, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna play Damnation. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good here because you can take off those. It's not terrible. Mike, when you start working from home, will you be able to work on stream? No. Dang. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Blotus. Seven mana. Mirror Battle Sphere. Mirror here. Treachery. Interesting. Sure. But it was not a mere battle sphere. You can still play that. It's true. Hmm. It's only fan memes, really. Taking its own form. Well, you gotta give the people what they want, Michael. <laughs> Do you have to do that? Hmm. Guess we're just gonna pass here. Dorati spaghetti. Destroy an artifact or a creature. You can also kill the Sphinx with your fiery confluence. No, you can't. Why not? Because uh, protects from red. Oh, right. A, a Forgot about that part. It's a relevant fact. Seems good. Seems good. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't think I have a way to deal two more damage. Unless I loot and find something that does that. I don't think Colony is going to be relevant here. I agree. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can't tap the Sphinx next turn when he tries to attack you with it. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I can fly higher than a Michael B. You wish. You know how high I fly. You have no idea <laughs> how high I can fly. Okay, the target. Is it you? No, it's definitely you. We can go back to the hand, that's fine. Because now they have to recast him for five, so. I play whatever games are cool, regardless of console. Games are cool. I lean towards PC, though. Unfortunately, I have to go right now. You do? Yeah. Where are you going to go? To the bathroom, unfortunately. You going to take a shit? Yeah.
All right, don't use this bathroom, though. I'm not going to use this bathroom. Okay, I'm just saying, man. It's going to be a rough one. Oh, God. Jesus. Well, that was, that was abrupt. I'll be Un back. Unfortunately, I have to go now. <laughs> so, okie dokie. Well, how else are you going to say it? Well, tell Pee Pee and Kiki I said hi. Wow. He's got to take a little boop. It's true. Well, sometimes nature calls, you know. You gotta answer. <sighs> five cards in hand. One is a scarab god. I also only have six lands now. Because we're killing things like Simic Signet, Golgari Signet. Also with two Signets and a... Oh, this is nice because we get to see what they hit. That's pretty good. I don't think we care about that, though. We don't, actually. And if they cast that, they're dead. So, Yeah, if you guys want, definitely text Michael while he's on the toilet and... You know, just tell them, tell them your feelings, tell them your your dreams and aspirations. You know, pray for them. Oh, we just win the game. Apparently, Equal Leviathan and Fiery Confluence are good. They're good. I kind of want Lightning Strike. Do we have any way to deal with like Scarab God? That guy seems really dank. I kind of like Avalanche Riders here. They have a bunch of stupid mana. Is that his number? Yes, that is his number. I don't know, our deck seems great though. <laughs> I wished him a good boop. <laughs> oh, is Mike pooping right now? That's the... That's the theory, yeah. He had to get up abruptly and go. I'm going to bring in Avalanche Riders and just play 41 because you know what? Sometimes you just got to YOLO it. Yeah, this hand seems great. <laughs> well, less good now. I got to take Demonic Tutor though, right? Because then I just get something better. Hester might. Oh, I guess, I guess I do have the combo in hand. Fashion relate to the party. It's nice if we can go funeral and coalition relics. That's not bad. Just sent Mike a bunch of toilet emojis. God, here comes Leovold. Dak. Fuck. All right. Well, they're doing well for themselves. Ugh. Yep, that's a fairly am amazing turn of events. <sighs> I kind of like Steven Skydiver here, but we can't we'll just have to take back one of our own signets. I honestly think it's just Lightning Bolt. We just go next turn Coalition Relic Lightning Bolt deck. It's not great, but I think it does what we want it to do.
Scarab God's pretty good here. Oh boy. I mean, if let's draw Deceiver Exarch, right? And then we can just live that dream. Yeah, I don't think we have the mana to to, 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 to see Rex are because we're playing Coalition or like we just they're just gonna steal this if we don't get rid of Dak. So it's like I'm gonna do something during my upkeep. Actually, hold on. This is this is a great target because now we can just put a charge counter on it. Sure. Main phase, get the mana. Sounds good. What up, Tom Math? Uh, do we just do ready here? Probably. Oh boy. I mean, now they just get to reanimate Sphinx and kill Duretti in the same turn, which is pretty rough. But I mean, I don't see us winning this game. We were trying to aggressively dig towards like Deceiver Exarch. Because it doesn't actually matter how much life they gain if we have Splinter Twin combos, so... So now they killed already. Go to 10. Sure. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the next game. I mean, the deck seems awesome. It seems like the exact kind of deck I like playing. I'm gonna keep this hand. Not a lot of early stuff, except for a braid, but they have like a <laughs> an early signet. It's pretty good. Plus, we get to ramp into Golos. I guess I'm not ramping in the Golos, but you get it. We're definitely abrading that. Coalition Relic. Thieving Skydiver. Ideally, they play another Signet next turn. That would be bananas. Don't play a green source, that's all. Oh, I guess you can play... That's funny, because Golgari Signet is two of the colors of Leovold, and with a Mountain Out, you can't actually play Leovold here. That's a whiff. <laughs> Seems good. 
Am I missing a land drop? Oh, wow. That's pretty decent for us, I guess. Definitely not playing this guy. They have a ton of artifacts and they can't even steal ours. So I don't. A 2 1 flyer that simply gets blocked by their 1 2 doesn't really appeal to me. <laughs> It's your boy. I'm just gonna get uh, Blood Crypt here for a second Black Source to activate Tar Pit. And dead. Sure, sounds good. Back fading with no no target here. Interesting. I don't hate that. One, two, three, activate. Yeah, I think we're just killing back here. Seven mana. Two away from just hard casting Leviathan. They also have uh, Ancient Grudge in the graveyard, so we're not really excited about drawing like a Coalition Relic, unfortunately. They might just attack with a Raging Ravine. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh my god, I mean, one more land for this? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Wow. Of course, they have no artifacts out. Man. I think we just take another hit. I don't think we just throw out a Skydiver just to save four damage. Five damage. Oh, they're gonna play something. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's it's worth saving five. Like it's just gonna get bigger, so Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna pass with that up, I guess. And force. Interesting. No attack. Oh, because we're, we're, we're untapped. I get it. Or they could have something here. Um, that 
that's not terrible. They don't even have mana for Warm Coil? Sure. Like, if they play Warm Coil and we draw one more land, we can either play Sphinx or steal their Warm Coil with Skydiver. That seems pretty good. We could also just tap down their land here. <laughs> tap down your only blue source, I guess. See, this is why you don't this is why you don't give me a chance to tap your things down when you're playing the Guys, Dukes McGee is back. Uh, untap it? Nah, I'm good. You okay, man? No. Jesus. I had to take some pep, though. Yikes. What was the cause, Michael? Who knows? That was a good turn. Land? Nice. Six six pro red, pro green seems very good when they only have ancient grudge. We've already killed Dak Faden. They can't Colagon's command it, and uh, they just used Heartless Act. So, fingers crossed, I guess. Also, now if they play Warm Coal, we can steal it with the Big Skydiver. Do you get the tokens if it dies? Yes, we do, because I am the controller of the effect. No, that's my that's my official title, guys. The controller of the effect. You heard it was what? <laughs> Almost. You got some sauce on your chin and everything. Were you, were you eating on there? Sauce? No, that's probably just from earlier. Well, God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I like to use some chicken wings on tour. <laughs> <laughs> I really like to complete the experience. Oh, can you imagine? There's got to be people to do that, right? Oh, man. Syndicate Station, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, I, I imagine there are people eating chicken wings on the toilet. You just don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Might as well cry while you're at it. <laughs> really complete the package. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if you had Michael Bolton playing, too? Which song? Doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. Doesn't matter. That's uh, probably accurate. The important thing is that he's there with you, you know. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's there in spirit. They got a baleful strix? <laughs> Buddy. I'm gonna be skydiving all over that thing. This guy's got first strike. <laughs> I don't care about death touch. Oh man, that's good times. <gasps> oh. That does work. There's nothing to get. Oh. That makes me sad. Can you skill with Skydiver or is it non-creature? Skill with Skydiver? Yeah. I can, but they also have Worm Coil in hand that I'm saving it for, and I don't, I don't really care if they block. Oh, yeah, it's got first strike. I literally just said that. I verbalized it. You did what now? Oh, my God. You did what now? Okay. That was delicious. Just gonna pass here. <laughs> Can't tinker in anything worthwhile, unfortunately. But if they play the worm coil, oh baby. Oh man, treachery is also real bad. Oh, that sucks. Yep. <sighs> wow. <sighs> to the surprise of no one, of course they have it. Yep. Always a pleasure. Seems good. Oh, can we just drop Brazen Bar? I guess that's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Baby, 
Maybe. And the problem is this guy can both block and attack through. Yeah. Yeah. So we're hoping for like Dak oh Dak Fade. No, that wouldn't do it. Well, I guess the looting component is really what we're looking for here, so we can hit like Brazen Bar. Ah, oh, treachery. Always a pleasure. You get attack and then tinker after combat. There's nothing to tinker for. And I can't what am I how do I attack? What are you talking about? No, I was saying you could one of the tokens, but What? You could just you could tinker with one of the tokens. To get what? Uh Oh, there's literally everything you agree right Yeah, I that. said this. You're just making me repeat myself. Our goals might be there. I don't know if that would do anything. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty fascinating is what it is. That guy by himself, huh? Hmm. Is there going to be four lands? One, two, three... They, they know I can't take this anyway, right? <laughs> Interesting. I don't think they do know that. Mike, do you got the post-poop dementia? <laughs> Probably. Seems like an easy choice. Um, one, two... Three. And I'm pretty sure we have no. No artifacts we can search for that actually do anything against Sphinx of the Seal and Yeah, like Coalition Relic and like okay, cool. I imagine they're gonna Wheel of Fortune here. Sure. Mm hmm. Go to the four. <sighs> Great. Reason borrow your own worm coil. I bet it was in those top three. That's my my guarantee. They have one card. Hmm. Man, protection from red is a hell of a drug. Yeah, pretty sure that does nothing. Kind of hilarious. <sighs> Puts damage to each creature, deals two to each opponent, destroy an artifact, red card, red card. Fucking tinker. Yep. Cool. Literally lost because they have treachery. Nope. Nope. Demonic. Yeah, especially good against because we're kind of threat light, so like they just take our one big thing and we're like, well, see you later. Is Brazen Bar still in the deck? Yeah. The lower last card? No. Michael's poops come with an, their own individual birth certificates and a social security number. Wow. This is the one I found. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. It's too much going on. I like that though. Okay. I just like the I like the gears. <laughs> oh, the other one is much more subtle. 
Where is it? That one. Yeah, I do like that one better. It's classier. It's also more expensive, but not by much. It's like 30 bucks difference. Wow. $30 really tipped my budget. Just couldn't do it. Maybe you spent less time pooping, Michael. <laughs> more time working. I literally work as much as I can at my current job. I thought you were going to say as much as I poop. Oh. I'm going to be like, wow. I literally have to take a second job to work anymore. And I think I might die if I did that. Oh, you'll never know until you try, Michael. No, I got a good idea. I think I'm, I think I'm good. You never know. You're one of the three mad planeswalkers y'all been talking about. No, that ain't it. Well, we do get to factor fixture next turn, so that that's that's a sweetie boy. Also, the other one I showed you, the, not the one, like the the more skeletal one. It's a forty-eight. The more skeletal. The big boy. That's really big. Yeah. Might be too big, actually. <clears throat> when they're too big, they look kind of awkward. I have to compare it to my wrist, but. I guess I have to use some kind of measuring or something. That's crazy. Or you can go try it, and if you don't like it, turn it up and turn it. Yeah, Amazon's wild like that. I hear you. What's going on here? Hanger bag for one, huh? Super aggressive. Not for two, though. They even have counterspell, I guess? Yeah, they're just keeping their mana link up, man. Goodbye, fact of fiction. You're gonna get remanded to my hand. Yeah, remand wouldn't be the worst. Wow. Cryptic? Get rid of Cryptic Command to do that? Whew. No, that is aggressive. Yeah, it's like they've never cast a Cryptic Command. I wonder if getting Tar Pit was better there. Nothing is better than the promise of activating Golos, Michael. Hmm. Don't you know anything? Clearly not. You simp. Today did wrong. For Golos? I accept. I mean, next turn we just get to go Rakdos Signet. And then the turn after that we get to go Hardcast Inkwell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a living. How much, how much is this thopter worth to you? Four life, huh? Well, they're at two Inkwell Leviathan hits. Dimitri, what's going on, my dude? Whose real name is not Dimitri? What a ruse. I feel like I've been tricked. Do we just pick it up tomorrow? What? PS5? Well, on Thursday. No, Wait. but I mean tomorrow instead. Wait, what is it? Hold on. Hmm. It says prefer to pick up tomorrow, but it's not. It's only 11 p.m. Wait, what? Make pickup changes. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, Woof. That's an oldie. Oh, that is a classic. I mean, I don't know. It says we can pick up tomorrow. I wouldn't be mad. 
Oh no. Moto signets are the it's worst. The worst combination. Dude. All right, here we go. You know, they got two turns to deal with this. Guess you could attack with this guy after. It's so weird to say tomorrow, but I don't know what time zone this is in. Oh, it might be Eastern. Because it would be midnight over there, right? Or after midnight. Yeah. That's weird. Guess we'll see. What does this do? Nothing? Kills our locks, I guess. Cool. They got rid of my whole graveyard and gained a whole two life. It's actually kind of relevant. He's in three turns instead of two. What did it cost them, Michael? Damn it, where are all my cards? Four or five, huh? Well, see you later. Interesting. It's a three-turn clock. I'm not going to hope they don't have anything in the next five cards, so... Seems a little ambitious. If only it was five instead. I don't know how I feel about playing that. What? I don't know how I feel about playing that. Well, I don't want to play nothing, and then they get to attack for four, five, six, seven. Like, it's, no, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, I would just win. Wow. Okie dokie. Art of Jokey. How dare you. My father died of an Art of Maybe your father shouldn't have been such a little bitch. <laughs> God damn. Did you ever think about that, Michael? I didn't. Yeah. Rider because they're playing like three colors, four colors. They're playing like Mardu Blue. Mard Blue. Stop it. Mard old boy. No, stop it. No. I, I can't be responsible no. for you in public. No. Yeah, I know. No. Not, okay. Sure. You can go. Now he's back in the deck, so now we got Tinker Target again. Genius. God, it's like it's like the mulligan actually helped us, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess it did. I think so. No, first thing I wasn't helping shit. Okay, Michael, just take it easy. Mard boy blue Bartle boy is definitely going into my D and D NPC name list. None of those you sound like Creed right now. Bow body. Michael, we're making acronyms. Hmm. I knew D. I was like, where do I know DM Harnack from? That sounds really familiar. Ooh, that was a nice hit. What's your guys' thoughts on current standard? Uh, I personally think it's fine. Michael doesn't play standard. What's a though. standard? Yeah, exactly. That cleric's list looked pretty sweet that you brewed up. <sighs> yeah, that was actually fun. I had a good time with it, you might say. <laughs> you might. <laughs> you might say that. <laughs> I don't get it. What do you mean? I just don't get it. I don't know. What do you mean? What are you saying, Michael? I don't know, man. Are you speaking some other kind of language? Michael, leave my house. My house, too. 
fucked. Oh, I'll fuck kick you out, you. bitch. I'm kicking out of shit. Away a lot. Good luck. <laughs> I'll kick you out with an axe. I'll chop all your limbs off and then roll them out the door <laughs> one by one. You roll them out one by one? This is an efficient man. Oh, I'm sorry. I could roll them in piles. <laughs> Throw all your shitty limbs in a in a wheelbarrow. You like that? Would you like that, Michael? <laughs> yeah. A limb wheelbarrow? It's my favorite. Well, they're not doing anything, so neither am I. There's no way I'm, like, walking into a counter spell. Can you show you one yet? Oh, yeah, he forced. Yes, encrypted command. We saw both of them. Well, he ain't got the mana for cryptic. Maybe you don't. No, he doesn't. You might not. Currently, no, I'm not playing magic. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why you're arguing with but me. But that is not relevant. Oh, they did it. The crazy maniacs did it. Seems like an easy choice. This one, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, big choice. Two spells or three lands? I'm going to go with two spells. I'm not really hurting for me. Hashtag now. two spells. Mike, sorry, let me ask you a new question. What's your thoughts on Pokemon's new league rules? <laughs> What's a Pokemon's? I played the game as a child. I know nothing about the card game. I've played it as a child. All I know is there's like Professor Oak and he draws you like three cards for free or something. You know about Professor Black. Oak, Michael? Yeah, I know about Dang. Oak Boy. You know about Smoky Oaky, Michael? <laughs> Old Smoky Oaky hanging out with Loki. Poker man. His cards are true. Ask Tatsuki to raise for you. <laughs> wow. That was well done. Like he's going to put this on three so that, that they can kill our... Yep, they know. They're like, oh, shit, i got to get rid of that P-mite. When you go to the bathroom, do you ever feel the P-mites? Hmm. I bet you do. Oh, I see. Oh, can you bounce your own goals over and over again? Oh, wow, they can, can't they? Is it a opponent or just any legendary? It's any legendary. Try a legendary creature. Oh, that's sick thing. value. He's going to get mazes in on you. He's going to get all his gates. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gates? Yeah. Bill Gates? He's going to get Bill Gates on me? No, like the mazes in gates deck. What are you saying? You sound like a maniac. I don't want to discard anything. I thought about doing that commander, but it seems too cute. Plus, once you get one gate, everyone's like, buddy, we know what you're doing. I'm all, we're, we're all buddy, over you. We know what's going on here. Take your little gate. Oh, I still get to pump up this guy. Open him up and get the fuck out. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> Take your little shitty gates <laughs> and get out. I'll get rid of one flame tongue. This guy doesn't seem great. Five butt. Well, see you later. Michael, don't talk about my five butt, okay? What about your four butt? Don't talk about any of my butts. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're just being kind of rude. Not a fan. Thank you. Six question marks. Thank you for the... Oh, gifted sub by Dimitri. That was amazing. I appreciate Much you. Much like Mike. I like poker as well. I'm a big fan of money. I like it. I use it. I have a little. I keep it in a jar on top of my fridge. I like to put more <laughs> more in the jar. That's where the poker comes in. Man, what a story. It's one for the ages. For the Aegis? Yeah, for the Aegis. For the Aegis? Also, someone messaged me who was associated with stream once and invited me to another poker group. It's wow. like, but I forget it. I don't remember who it was. It was your dad, wasn't it? Could have been. Highly unlikely, but possible. It was like a, uh, what was the limit? It was like 30 cent, 60 cent game. I don't know. I just work here, Michael. Man. Oh, Twisted Tigra. Dimitri with the gifted sub. It's probably Tigra, isn't it? I like the character. Discard up to two cards. Hmm. 
Oh, a Tigra? Nice. God, I'm so smart. I mean, I don't want to brag, but... You will. I just did it. Oh, this resolved? Love it. Now we're going to get Creeper. I got creep on it. You know that song? No. You will. Once you grow up. Never. Are they going to bounce my golos, you think? Damn. They could. I don't know if that's good, but they could do it. Kind of like bouncing in front of Titan. It's my great feeling. Why'd you hold the mic when you said that? I don't know. I was adjusting it, but it's I was like, talking. It's kind of like bouncing an Inferno Titan. <laughs> I'm going to disenchant this guy, too. Look at all the cards in my graveyard compared to all the cards in their graveyard. One disenchant. Oh, they put this on four. Are they going to pop Doretti? They're going to bounce this guy and pop Doretti, attack for three. Oh, dang. Oh, no. That's not. They didn't. It was kind of weird, though, because it's like. You're losing an option, like, uh, answer the combo, right? What are you saying right now? You lose an option to combo. What are you, what are you talking about? I just don't understand the things you're saying. Like, it's, you sound like you're having a... So you have a bad day. Treachery, girl. Everybody plays treachery against us. You have is, a bad this day. This is two treachery matches in a row, yes. That's a good card, I guess. I heard Frank say my name and I thought I was tripping. Oh man, six question marks. Like, what the fuck? Is he here? Does he know I'm here? Mike B, I watched Rounders last night for like the 50th time. What would you rate that on the scale of 1 to 10, you being a poker player? I think, regardless of if you're a poker player or not, I think that movie is a solid 9 or 10. I think it's really good. I don't know, Mike. I didn't look. Hmm. Is <laughs> that a little reference there? Yeah. Hmm. It's when Johnny Chan asks him if he had it, and then he says, "I don't know, John. I, 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 yeah, I didn't look." Okay, so they tapped out. Oh, they can just still bounce their own golos though. So I guess we'll abrade it. Oh wait, hold on. One, two, one, two, three. Hmm. 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 You know it's fun. Oh, they're definitely string bets, but I mean they're technically home games, so eh, whatever. We could get Tinker and get Inkwell. Oh, that could be good. So what's the play here? Tinker into Inkwell or Splinter Twin? <sighs> do, do, do. <laughs> He's having a moment. <laughs> wow, one for Inky seems safer. A twin, right? Steelwind is Artem yet? What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now, Antibody? Pay the man his money. Steelwind um, is an artifact, yes, but I think Inkwell is going to be better I than like Steelwind. I like combo. I don't know. Oh, Steelwind, you can just cast that, right? Well, yes, but... What do we got? One, two, three, four. Wait, he's times. legendary, so that's bad. No, he's not. Think so? No, you could have ten of these bitches on the board if you wanted to. Dang. Well, he can't win this turn. We're not going to be able to twin and deceive Rexark and give deceive Rexark haste this turn. They're not going to be tapped out once we actually get the card. Also, once... do you know about? I mean, the problem is like. Wait, well, they knew about Pestermite, right? Not Exarch. I don't know what they know about. It's been too long. I don't think they've looked at our hand. What? How would they have known about any of that? I thought they knew somehow. About one of them. Tinker. I think this is safer. Because, like, there's so many cards in their hand that could dis d disrupt a, a Deceiver X Arc and a Splinter Twin. And I don't want to feel like I'm waiting the whole game for them to tap out. We know they have Damnation. Or Wrath of God, whichever it was. I think it was Wrath. So you had a Mike B. 
The last thing I said in the chat was well, 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 and this is an ink well, so it's kind of like I predicted it, you know? Hmm. Oh, I think they're going to... Wow. Jesus. Well, there you go. Chanel, believe it or not, I cannot demonic tutor on their end step. No, that attitude. Where's your quicken? My quicken. Mm -hmm. You mean like the tax software? Yeah. I don't. I don't have it. What about QuickBooks? I do have that. They got any other Quick things? How quick can you be? Does every tax program have to have Quick in the name? Yes. Because of their speedy nature. Hmm. I thought tax were really a slow process. That's why they're trying to make it quicker, man. They gotta move with the times, Michael. Hmm. Wow, what is happening? Okay, but we're running them out of cards. See, like, they had swords, too. So, like, they had answers for both Inkwell and Splinter Twin combo. So, now we feel a little more comfortable, I guess. But maybe next day they don't have answer. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe they do. But maybe not. Who's to say? Who's? Who, who's who's? Who's who's? <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about another man's who's who's, Michael. Hello, my name is Milos. No. My name is Who's Hoosh. Hoosh, Hoosh, Hoosh. That's hard to say, man. Oh, it's the Banana Man. Sing me a it song. It is I, King of, of the, the Nanners. Banana Man. Banana Man tonight. <laughs> you must stop. No. Okay. No. Oh, God. Good gravy. I don't want to give you any of these. I'm going to be vindicated because it's a sorcery. sorcery. Uh. What? We go. You got us feeling all. Do we just risk it and try to hope to to this point twin? Mm. We wouldn't have hit it. It's because we didn't commit. You didn't believe in the heart of the cards. You gotta commit it to hit it. That's what I always say. <laughs> huh. That's good. There's 12 cards in our deck. One of them is Splinter Twin. 11 of them aren't. Choose wisely. <laughs> oh, I guess Meechels is dead. Rip. Rip Meechels. <laughs> to get pulled from the stupid... Selfless spirit? Sure, you can have that idiot. Does he know how much of an idiot he is? Self the selfless spirit? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, man. Man, selfless spirit really makes Dauntless Escort look like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Poor Dauntless Escort. Rip. More like... Blip. Why blip? Why blip? I was right. No, I don't understand. I know. Can you explain it? No, I don't you're think just so. talking nonsense. Oh, I am. Yeah, agreed. All right. <laughs> okay. That's rude, man. Just fucking rude. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Well, you're all in the mood for the melody. Hmm. You got it. It's better. Tag fade. It's part of it. Let's not use all the blues. You'd also don't want to use all the reds. Dackles, McCackles, Dack, Dack, McCack. Land Splinter Twin. That's close. Mm -hmm. Um. So we know they have Selfless and Tessie Gray. I don't think Bolt's doing any favors. I know that's. I think it's probably Skydiver too. Yeah. Actually, Island's favors. definitely gone. We have six mana, seven mana. They got so lucky, dude. 
I find it sad that you can't bounce your own things with Brazen Bar, so. We could deal in like 11 next turn. 11? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Bolt, Steeler Guy, attack. Assuming they play Tasker. Wow. Wow. Why wouldn't they just bounce their own Tasker? Oh. Forgot about that. Oh. I mean, the Envoy tricks are hard to see, you know? Yeah. Especially when you're blind. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about your blindness. <laughs> I feel like you're not sorry about it. I feel like you're patronizing me. Is that the effect? That's that the impression you got? That's the impression that I get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sing it okay. Can't laugh, I just said it. Yes, I can. Oh, dang it, you're right. I can't stop him from laughing. No! I think we know this fucking song. You think we know this fucking song? It's a, one of their live recordings. He says that in the start of it. Okay, I, I don't know about all that, man. You're being real offensive right now. Am I? Have you ever been close to Michael B? you been close to Michael wow. B. Wow. 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 <laughs> As you said it, Super Fritz typed it in the chat. Oh, wow. That's really kind of weird. That's amazing. Okay, here we go. Eight cards. 25% chance of hitting the twin. Doesn't, doesn't guess not. More like 0%. Am I right? Yes. Body. Ba, 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 ba. Six cards in our deck. Next turn, there'll be a 50% chance of hitting twin. It's in the deck, right? They didn't exile it somehow? Okay. I don't think so. But what do I know? I, nothing. Basically, R really dang not, it. not much. Can't make fun of me when I'm trying to make fun of me. Yes, I can. <sighs> it's lame, though. Stop telling me I can't do things. I can I'll tell you whatever me. I want. Don't tell me not to tell you not to do what I want to tell you to do what to do it. Yeah, think about that. Uh, whatever that means. <laughs> exactly. I think you're drunk. Trading's hot chip right now? Yeah, boy. Sure, that's a recipe for disaster. You know what else is a recipe for disaster? I don't know what. I don't know, man. I don't give a shit. I'm doing this in response so that if they don't hit it, like if they hit two lands, I want to be able to give them spirit because the other cards are uh, removal spells for Deceiver Exarch, so. Yeah, that. Lingering Souls. Um... Yeah, I'll just give you back Selfless Spirit. I don't care about that. <laughs> oh, they just get to kill this guy anyway. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure we have win conditions enough to win anymore. Could have bounced our Jason response. Mm, yes, I could have actually. I was thinking Caracas would prevent that, but it wouldn't actually prevent that. It would just, yeah, just make it happen different. <laughs> <laughs> it would just make it happen different. Guess you could bounce your own to Zebra Nope. Literally just, stuff. literally just went over that. Yeah. Dang it. Well, you can still win with conscripts. H how? Doesn't work the same way. Oh, you tap, you yeah. Copy it, you untap, you tap, you untap. I guess yeah. that's true. It's more expensive, but it's not flashy. What, they're really getting Duretti? Bold choice. They think see Regs are legendary? I bet they just have another removal spell. <gasps> hmm. Doesn't work in your own turn as good, but I'll just hit land, splinter... Just going for it. Yeah, might as well. You could have technically taken the turn. 
Then they're untapped. That's true. You got it. The irony. It's peaking. Yep. This draft has been sus. I don't like it. They have a ton of removal spells, which is kind of frustrating. I kind of want Teferi, because like, there's a long game that they're, that's being played. Flame Sun Kava doesn't do anything in this matchup. Agreed. You could add, like, Siege Gang as a threat or Peasy. Like, Heartless better than a Braid here. Are you okay? Are you crying? Huh? Are you about to cry? Sure. Are you falling asleep? No. Oh my god, you're totally falling asleep? Yeah. Oh boy. It's getting late for Grandpa Mike. Grandpa's getting narcolepsy. Well, you know, just a little, just pushing a little bit. You're just pushing a little bit? Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, it really feels like when you're having a bad time in magic, it really just likes to accelerate that. Tinker Swamp. Well, you only have to get rid of one, right? No, I have to get rid of two, but... I'd get rid of the Tinker. All in, baby. I'm just going to be sad when we hit a Mox, and then we could have, like, turn two Tinker into Fat Daddy. We don't have that many artifacts to sacrifice to Tinker. Uh, we have a, one Mox and one Rakdos's. And we also have a Coalition Relic. What if we just what if they just don't have the answer and we can just win like this? It'd be pretty hilarious. I kinda like it. I wonder if playing the island there's better. Well, I don't want them to think we have double blue up. Another question is, do we just go for it or not? And I don't know. They have a lot of stuff, though. I don't like it. No, it's like Force of Will, and there's nothing we can play around that, so. I mean, Force of Negation. Oh, yeah, that was the other opponent. What's the downside to going to it for it? It dies. If he dies. Maybe he's Vindicate and he loses. Are you still getting a PS5 this week? Yes. We are still on track to get it. Oh, interesting. What? <laughs> Mold of five, then go Deceiver, Exarch on three, Splinter Twin on four. No, we went for it, I guess. Wow. That's. Oh, man. I just want to soak that one in, dude. Didn't expect that, but. Sometimes you just have it, dude. That's wild. Or more, your opponent doesn't have it. Or more. Ugh. How do I go to like the the other screen? There's like no way to do that, right? Okay, I guess you just gotta. No, you want some kind of like usable interface? Like Must be nice device. to squeak in past this guy. I mean, like I literally just refreshed Best Buy for four hours until it actually added to my cart and I could pre-order it. I mean, so it's not like it's not like it was just handed to me. I did I put in the work, you know. You ain't never seen someone refresh so much. Yeah, I literally refreshed it like every 30 seconds. And when it went yellow to add it to my cart, I clicked add to my cart. If it went in my cart, I tried to proceed. If it didn't, I went back and tried to add it to my cart again. Like I did it for like literally like between like 1 a.m. and like 5 a.m. That is commitment. Yeah, I was just watching YouTube videos and I kept trying to add it to my cart. And then it, and then it was in the cart. This is the story of how the cart... This is a story of a cart. Oh, that was a good this draw. The River and that was a fantastic draw. Okay, actually. let's take it easy. You're being it was so good. It was delicious. I just want to keep hitting lands. Is that too much to ask? Yes. Because our hand is good if we can hit them lands. 
I mean, to your friend. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. I'm not. It's not. I'm not. I'm not above doing it. But like, it just never feels good, you know. Oh god, they're gonna make me do it, aren't they? You know, like a bad rampant growth. You know what? That's good enough. I don't like a bad rampant growth. <laughs> this hand is a spicy gemulum. <laughs> He's right. He would never lie to you. What are all these four color? It's like three four color decks in a row, right? Like, first one had like League of Old DAC nonsense. The next one had Day of Judgment, like Tassiger, Double Blue, sh Red, like nonsense. And now we're back to like. They might just be Esper. Let's find out. Nope. Nope. They got a red land with their green land. Got it. What is this they're doing? Solemn Simulacra. I want to copy that. Can I copy it? The card that everybody likes? It's actually not that good. Solemn Simulacra? Mm -hmm. Why is it not good? It's really slow. You sound like an asshole. <laughs> Everyone loves it, but I don't know. It's not super efficient. Maybe you're not that efficient. You I little, think it's really bad in Commander. Little turtle. It's the worst ramp spell of all time. What? Mm -hmm. Just stop it. You sound like a horse's ass. It's not good. Yeah, I know. It's not good that you sound that way. I agree with you. <laughs> Michael, did you go to www.loser.com? Yes, I did. Okay. You guys should go that. to you guys should go to loser dot com. One two three four five six. It's one of things like, would you pay four mana for a two two if it said it when it dies it draws a card? But you're also ramping. But if you like take those cards separately, you wouldn't play them, right? You combine them and you think it's real good. But it's a hits me. Okay. No. Disagree with you completely. What's a 2-2 two -two worth? Two mana, right? Mm -hmm. What's drawing one card worth? Like one mana? Because preordained, you could, argue, you could argue it's two, but sure. Those aren't really draw. Those are filter. Actually drawing cards worth like more mana than it is worth. Like Divination draws you two for three mana. It's like one and like, a half. Sure. We'll call okay, it so, half. so Solemn is up to three and a half. And then you got a Rampant Growth. Mm -hmm. So now it's up to four and a half mana. Mm-hmm. No, five and a half mana. You're getting a mana and a half of value, you stupid, ungrateful slut. But it's like a 2-2. Two, two. It only gets you a basic. It has to die to draw you a card. Do you just get Tinker here? Tinker good. feel good. <laughs> Tinker feel good. <laughs> also, I mean, generally, if your opponent's playing Islands, Inkwell is usually pretty good. I'm not going to do it right now because they have freaking mana drain mana up, but... I'll do it next no, that's turn. That's a good point. He's in standard. No one's playing him. Hmm. Well, what do you want? Michael, would you enjoy a cookie? Well, I think it's that magic in general has pushed past the speed test for Simulacrum to be good. He's just a little too slow. Michael, you want candy corn? No. What if it's got a chocolate butt on it? That, that does entice me more, but it's after my eating time. That's fair. And I don't think breaking my fast for a single candy corn is really <laughs> worth it. It's not worth it. I agree with you. I and mean, if it was a slice of pizza, maybe. But a candy corn? Mm-mm. Well. <laughs> I can't believe Mike is bullying a sad robot. <laughs> I thought robots were cool, Michael. Well, robots are cool. Robots Some of them are, are inefficient. Cool. That doesn't mean he's not cool. I think it's a cool card. Stop saying cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. You sound like a bird. You sound like a really weird bird. Well, cool, 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 cool. Is that a compliment? Because I accept. Then yes. Now look, look at Is this the split you're doing? I'll take the four Look cards. at how many Durettis there are in your spaghetti right now. There's two Durettis. I have all the Durettis. They have six cards. They're only playing like Baleful Strix on their turn. Like they got to have something, right? Like we gotta just tinker into into keep force up, right? Like, I found out today I'm attracted to people with big buck teeth. I like this one girl who has the most massive molars I've ever seen. You can see them from space. This year on Valentine's Day, I'm revealing my feelings to her February 14th. Wow, I like that you said the date of Valentine's Day. 
I'm going to ask her, would you be my mouse? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. It's real. I'm going to take this pile because it's got lands, and I don't care about planeswalkers at this juncture. Oh, interesting. Look how Antibody, many... that's a nice... Um, what comedian was that? Who was the comedian that told that candy corn joke? Was it Jimulum? Yeah, it was Jimulum. Antibody, who was that? He quoted it, so you should know. Can't remember. Lewis Black, that was it, yeah. Frank loves candy corn. There you go. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. Bitch. Your snakes can't stop my robot boat. We got three islands. Robot fish boat. Robot fish boat? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Michael, you sound my, like you're writing a hit TV show. My Metal Gear Arsenal. I need you to, I need you to fire up the robot fish boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I forgot about big old boat pill. Oh, God. Is this is a song. I bet this is a song you sing. No, it's... Here, just... I got a big ass boat coming on down to me. I dropped that boat in the water and flash. <laughs> I literally just made it. It's flash. Yeah, that's cool. They had Angrath's Rampage. Killed that man. Sacrificed my water. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. I like that they had that. Glad we went all into that plan. Yeah. What's that from? Nothing. I don't think if they change the retweets on the phone. You have to commit to retweeting now. You can't just press the button. Oh, there, if you hit the retweet button, it's like, are you sure you don't want to read the article? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I read it. It's fine. No, like with any retweet now, you have to like, you have to hit retweet and then it asks you if you want to retweet, even on the phone. You can't just click the button anymore. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Maybe too many people are complaining about accidentally retweeting stuff they didn't want to. Probably Republicans. <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't realize it was making fun of you, dude. I hope I draw fiery confluence. You know, when I think of Mitch Hedberg, I'm like, yeah, he's dead. But then I realize how long he's been dead, and I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, he just died in like 2018, you know? <laughs> No. Come and bring it on down to kill you. One, two, three, actually. We have one, two. I got a big old boat. This is really frustrating. Who plays around Angrath's Rampage? Come on. No one. In the fucking four color deck, this is like I'm like this is good enough to splash. Yeah, it's probably his only red card. I don't know, man. I mean, we're doing fine. We can kill all the stuff that matters. Can we? We kill a snake maker. It's not making any snakes right now. But in the future, in the future what, Michael? The future where the, the government controls all the cheese. You just wait. Hey, guys. The second group of international election observers report no election fraud. Wow. But there's huge evidence, Frank. There's, it's everywhere. There is a it's huge It's so evidence. rampant. It's everywhere. I also love how, like, people <laughs> who are into that will, like, when people are like, all votes should be counted, they're like, all legal votes. And I'm like, and everyone's like, you got any evidence? And they're like, well, watch this YouTube video from this guy. <laughs> it's got 400 views. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, Jimmy Carr is pretty hilarious. I guess I'll take two. What do you think you splash a green for? Fuck okay. I know. Probably okay. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, he's got a little combo there. Yeah, you probably want to get rid of that. Send him on down to kill you.
You could steal his bro. Sack what? it to itself, right? His, his This guy? Yeah. No, it's sack another creature. Dang it. You can never sack anybody to themselves anymore, Michael. It's 2020. It's not hip anymore. Maybe it'll trade. I think they're going to block and sack a snake. Oh, they're going to pay a life. Going on down to kill you. Here comes Michael B. Petty theft. Man, if you could bounce your own stuff. What a wonderful world. Okay, I guess you're just taking three. And next turn, I want to kill you. Wow. <laughs> Pretty solid one-liner. Well, I guess it's not a one-liner. <laughs> just... You can't text me stuff. <laughs> oh, Christ. See, that's funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dong humor, am I right? Uh, who can resist childish jokes? I certainly can't. I can. You can't. You just proved that. I did. Prove it? Yeah, I know. Well, you're already... Oh, it was Ellis Conference. I was like... Send him on down to Rat Train. <laughs> remember that? Remember that, me and Michael? Do I remember that? I reinvented my brand. You, you were, you were big time after that. Yeah, everybody like Mike B, but then that that really, that really slapped. hit off. It's like when you get signed by a record company. A record la company. My name is Record La Company. <laughs> nice to meet you, Record La Company. Temple permanent, this guy. Don't you block me or my friends? Splinter Twin is gonna be in my deck. What's a narcissistic? Oh, narcissistic. Okay. Are you trying to say narcissistic? Maybe. Huh. How's that working out? Not well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just checking. Just checking. And so, Sherman, you never, never done stand up. Don't lie. I gotta lie all the time. Everyone's top number one was Sunny D until Rat Train pulled into the station. <laughs> wow. But where's the lie? There is none. Oh, God, I'm dying. Memory jar. Send them on down, Michael. Normally a three one would be good against that guy, but they ain't got no juice. I guess they could sack their land, but... If you want to do that, feel free. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, it turns out performing for a live audience isn't easy. That's why I'm easy. took a speech class once because it was required mm. miserable sure didn't like that what can you do are they gonna wow it's mono removal dot deck over here mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm 
Also, this feels like they're playing Memory Jar because they think it's good, but they don't actually know how magic works, and Memory Jar is actually terrible in their deck. Does that sound about right? They do not seem like a Memory Jar deck. What's he saying? I, I agree. I think it's weird when people just randomly put Memory Jar on their deck. But it says draw seven. Hickory dickory duck. Oh. Did I do it? Was that an Andrew Dice Clay? Yeah, because they were talking about it. Oh, I see. So. Isn't Dice still alive? I think he is. Yeah. Did you know him and Mickey Rourke are the same person? I did know that. <laughs> oh. Daculees, Daculees. Wow. Wow. We can still remember Jar. Your plans are terrible. It would actually be okay for us since, you know, Splinter Twin. We could go digging. Old oh, diggery douche. Oh, we're digging all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. We could just cast that bitch. Well, yeah, but next turn. I don't think Scott Air is doing anything for you. I think you're right. I did not find what I was looking for. Who is the one guy who has a show about the weird soup guy? Jimmy Seinberg or something. I think he just made that up. That whole thing up. That whole message is just made up. Show about the weird soup guy? The show's not about weird soup. It's about the weird soup guy. Very confused. Oh. Fascinating. I am fascinated. Jerry Seinfeld and the Soup Nazi? Yeah, that's probably it. Jerry Seinberg? EOT, interesting. Jamilam yeah. Smittlebop? Well, Splinter Twin is not in this hand. That's good. But nothing else is either, so... You're duressing. Oh, are you gonna kill? Are you gonna kill me? You're duressing my. Are you gonna kill me? My memory jar hand. That's interesting. I'm just worried about counterspell. I don't know. Wow. Okay, who do you think is the best current working com comic? Antibody says Mike B. Wow. You give me too much credit. Triumph the insult comic dog. <laughs> God damn. Oh, wow. It might be Dish Bell. Probably Dish Bell. So they're just dressing to guarantee they hit Splinter 20 already? Oh, they didn't. They hit two trash cards that I did not want. That's. Those trash cards. Loser! Thanks for the help. Oh, look at top. The card that everyone overvalues. I hate top. I used to put it in every commander deck, and since I learned the truth, I put it in literally no commander decks. Zero. Even once the trinket mage, I still don't include it. It's terrible. Let's see, so guy, can, some, can someone explain to me what Michael is saying? Everyone likes it in commander, and I hate it. I hate it. Slow. Slows down the game. Let me top. Wait, let me top. Wait, let me top. Why don't you get your top and get out? Oh, God. This Ash Shock's for sure going to hit the friggin' three. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Hardest working comic. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yep. It's Mike B's dad. Been on the road quite a long time. Buddy, you ain't kidding. Well, I think our opponent has exhausted all our win conditions. And we have no cards in our library. Oh, that's cool. 
I like Patton. They have like no artifacts again. Yeah, true. You're fine. Tech free again seems good. Frank, don't play commander. Yeah, I don't I I don't play commander, so I have no no opinion on Rhystic study. If you like an opinion on someone who plays commander, it's arguably the best card in the format. Shut up. Give me a box. I only have one. Got the combo. Do you think if you refresh that page enough, the PS5 will magically appear in all the room? Buddy, I hope so. <laughs> you can also I don't know what the, the hell. I don't know what cool. the hell's the point if I don't. If it, if not. What you say? It's about loading on a vest. I literally didn't say anything. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Other upkeep topping. It's not hot in here. It could be colder. <laughs> I think the heat is on. I think that's why. Yeah, the heat's coming out of this. Heat is on. Which is odd because I have my window open. Oh. Well, it's because the rest of the house is... Right. Yeah. It yeah. Be, it's not per room temps. Oh. We ain't got that fancy stuff. Get a brazen bolt. Play this next time we can avalanche ride them. Avalanche riders. Old Eddie. His stuff was good. I haven't seen any of his recent stuff. I'm gonna nug your land. It's gonna go in the garbage can. That's a good song, man. Thank you, bro. I'm eat this candy corn, too. Good for you, man. This candy corn was 75% off after Halloween. It cost a quarter. No, 75 cents. Still pretty good. He's going to crack that land to give his shambling vent indestructible. If he wants to go through all that, by all means. Yeah, never just buy some of the means. You should buy all the means. Every mean that you have access to, you should buy. By all means, that's my motto. Tell me the joke again. I really want you to keep saying it over and over again. What's the joke? Oh, okay. I have to go now. I can't stay here any longer. You gotta take a shit again? <laughs> you gotta eat more chicken wings on the toilet? Yeah, man. I got a tight schedule. These are my toilet chicken wings. No, they're just my chicken wings. I just happen to eat them on the toilet. What is going on? You're making me discard your story on that, sure. Beep, beep. <laughs> it's one of the chicken wings. Is that like bathtub ramen? It's very yeah, similar, it's yeah. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, that was a video on the internet. Man, deck fading should just say draw two cards. Plus two, plus one, draw two cards. Okay. Was okay. that too good? Too good? <laughs> He'd suddenly become one of the best Planeswalkers ever printed, I'm pretty sure. Wow, they're doing very good. How lucky, every single time. Might as well have paid for it, because they're only...
Well, you can't splinter to an avalanche riders if they always kill it. I mean, take your splinter to Also, what are you saying right now? Don't worry about it, man. I'm so worried. Well, don't be really worried. Don't be worried. Be free. Yes. Look at that red hand. <laughs> He's been eating a lot of jam, man. Right from the jar. <laughs> wow. I like it. Is there even a reason to keep <laughs> Exarch anymore? Yeah, it's still better than one of the lands. Meh. What the hell does that mean? I guess it's a 1 4. Not very exciting, though. Is it how how is it ever less exciting than literally sixth land? Um, I guess oh. if none of them are planes. Your argument is valid. <laughs> Even if like planes would slap, we could colonnade them. Time trial? No, we do not. Oh my god. Oh, I was like, dude, the last it's our last card is like a way to kill this relic. It's also number fine. We have coalition relic, deck fading on six, and a factor fiction in hand. Do you have any way to get cards from our graveyard? I don't think so. No. Oh feel man, sir. Okay. So I just get to steal that next turn? Because that's pretty cool. That seemed like a bold strategy, Cotton. I think you might have missed that interaction there. <laughs> Did you forget that Dak Faden was on the board? Did he forget that? I'm pretty sure he had to forget because that seems really bad. That seems terrible. I don't know what you came out of that. Maybe really don't want you to loot this turn. He was like, I'm going to get him. Oh, also, Coalition Relic wants us to attack with this guy. It's actually pretty good. Got a little tab of the response to show you. <laughs> yeah, they really... Why don't you put a counter on it for us? <laughs> Maybe you just really wanted to overpay for spinning his top and give us a permanent. Spin them wheels, All boy. part of the plan. Oh, we just okay. won the game. Okay. He's like, I done messed up. He's, I will concede. Yeah, he's top locked. Oh, there's nothing worse than being top locked. I wonder if it's still worth just bringing a lightning strike, char, fire blast, and like siege gang and just trying to be just like kill him. super aggro. Ooh, kill him. I hate the idea. Take out Golos. If we just take out the Tinker plan. Good. He's dirtling. Bear Boss is pretty aggressive. I've been making fish in my backyard. You making them like like? Yeah, he's growing that shit. Like God, you ain't got fish seeds, man. <laughs> All right, this is a gamble, but <sighs> oh, it's less of a gamble. Turn turn one turn two deck fading. It seems very good. Oh, and they mulligan to six. How can they win? Well, turn one to rest. Take Dak Faden. Huh. That'd be good. But my Mike B just ain't seen nothing yet. God, this man, this this man, this draft has been going on for two hours. That's fucking ridiculous. Has it really been two hours? Yeah, usually like between an hour and an hour and a half. It's two hours and fifteen minutes. This has been a long one, man. Where'd the time go? Yeah, time to take a whole giant. Duke? Duke. Oh, look. They had the exact oh, thing. <sighs> Just 
Let's take Mox Jet here. You can already taking Dax better. I think it is Dax, but... Oh, interesting. Definitely gonna just play this on two. We're trying to be more aggressive here. Get him. Okay. Wow. Well, that's incredibly good. Speaking of aggression. Makes this card pretty bad. Yeah, I agree. And now I can play it. It's actually very bad. You know, see better boss than them until now. It's not like we can do anything about it. True. Doesn't make any less annoying. Charmander. You're a skydiver and probably just brazen barber. I still have fiery confluence. Oh, I guess I'll back here. Um, kind of like Avalanche Riders here, actually. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of Island. Is it Pestermite? I just don't feel like Pestermite's going to do it. Maybe Pestermite does it. We can play this guy next turn. Let's get rid of Tarpit. Probably Fact, actually, because we have Dac. Yeah, we didn't attack, which makes me sad, but... Let me guess, Calling Out's Command again. <laughs> They love that. They love that response. And man, it looks like it's blue, blue, red this time. Oh, you're just okay. <sighs> well, I guess Dak Faden is dead. Wow. Haven't seen any of these cards in the first two fucking rounds. They just bore it all in. Tap the sky. Come on, Splinter Twin off the top. Let's do it again. You don't want to attack. I don't want to trade one fairy for a Deceiver Exarch. Take seven. Yeah, I wish to see Rogers Arc had float. Would you fling a bunch of goblins at him? I mean, that's definitely an option, yes. Um, three, four, five. We take seven next turn, eight next turn. We go to four, but we get to keep up. So they're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they go to five, and then Char just kills them. Okay, so you target you. Yeah, don't mess it up. Oh, they also take one from the Bitter Blossom, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're at five, actually, so they just die here. Yeah, we can actually just do a force. We don't need to do it right now. No, we do it on their turn. So that oh. we can force if they have a counter spell. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, 
the two counter spells here, so I think we're doing good with three mana. Yeah. Oh man, good strat, guys. Good strat. Oh, everyone knows me falling asleep. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. We'll see you next time.